From the Tennessee Valley Weather Channel, this is your afternoon update. Hey folks, happy Friday. Hope you had a nice day so far. We definitely woke up with some rumbles of thunder out there, some 30, 40 mile an hour winds and heavy downpours, but that's mostly moved out of here for now. And we actually have some clearer skies here in Florence, temperatures in the 80s, dew points in the 70s, so still particularly humid out there, but we're kind of in that temperature depression behind those storms. Across southern middle Tennessee, very similar story. In fact, you can see some rain off the distance, darker clouds way out there, temperature 77, a dew point of 75. So really close dew point temperature combination there. Humidity definitely is obvious. And you can see that strip of storms here moving off to the east. You can see those temperatures have actually decreased along and behind them. And that's kind of where we're at. But even still, we do have this heat advisory in North Alabama, not Northeast Mississippi or Southern Middle Tennessee, but North Alabama. So we will probably be seeing those heat uh, temperatures and higher heat indexes taking back over as we hit over the next couple of days. I'll discuss that more in just a second. So we might still see a maybe a couple scattered areas of convection through this afternoon. I've seen some signs of the possibility of more development, but by the time we're heading through tonight, I think the showers will be mostly out of here. And we actually have a pretty nice Saturday in store for us, barring possibility of maybe a few lingering showers off to our south as this stuff moves off. But Saturday afternoon, Sunday afternoon, both look pretty good. See that? That's that front moving out of here. High pressure kind of keeps those off to our south for at least a couple of days. So our weekend not looking too bad, not looking too bad by any stretch of the imagination. But as we head towards Monday and beyond, so for the next work week, things start to change. I think we pick those thunderstorm chances up by Monday, and then for the rest of the week, we hold those chances. And in fact, you notice barrels made landfall down here. This model has it drifting up to the north, and that'll provide quite a bit of rain if this solution is true into the Tennessee Valley area. And of course, we're picking up some drought conditions, so that would be helpful. But heck, I mean, if that solution does pan out, we'd be looking at a lot more rain than we actually need. And Let's actually discuss barrel because it's very interesting. This thing has been all sorts of weird, right? Currently, it is in the Yucatan Peninsula. Inland is a Category 1 hurricane. It's going to move off to the north, weaken a little bit, but it's actually probably going to make landfall as a hurricane once again, probably somewhere near Brownsville, Texas, lifting off to the north. Quite a bit of spread, right? That's what this cone is, a cone of uncertainty. So it could go as far west as out here towards Del Rio, as far east as towards Louisiana up through Arkansas and then eventually giving us some rain. So there's quite a bit of uncertainty, but the general trend is that it'll probably move up through Texas, lift northeast, and probably cause some rain out towards the Ozarks, Midwest, southeastern United States with time as we head through next week. So we'll watch that for our next rain chances and thunderstorm chances here. Definitely worth keeping a close eye on with these post-tropical systems. All right, so here's your seven-day forecast. Again, you see we still kind of hold those thunderstorm chances, right, through this afternoon, through the early hours of this evening. But as I was mentioning, this weekend actually does not look too bad. I think we have a couple of days of pretty decent weather. Very convenient that it's Saturday and Sunday, right? But by the time we're heading through next week, notice those rain chances starting to tick back up. And as for temperatures, they actually start to go down a little bit back to the upper 80s. But I think the next couple of days, so Saturday and Sunday, with those clearer skies, do get back into the 90s. So it's going to get a little toasty and stay mostly dry as we head through tomorrow and Sunday. Thanks for joining me for this forecast update. I'll be back in position for Fred Gossage at 5, 6, and 9 for more fresh from the Tennessee Valley Weather Center.